Hey guys, it's Step Boy 2044 here. So today we're gonna be mixing some Grizzly Wintergreen with some Stoker's Mint. But first, like, I might put some music on. Any of y'all like Dylan Scott, leave it in the comments if you do. I've been listening to a lot of his music lately. Shit, this phone's on 17%. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, well, it'd be all right. But, yeah. First, we're going to put on some music by old Dylan Scott. If y'all don't know who that is, and you like country music, go check him out. Well, it's more like pop country, but it's pretty good music. Like, I got like three favorite songs by him, so, yeah. Of course there's gotta be an ad, guys. Always. All right, I'm gonna get a can and we're gonna mix these up and shake them up and you know. All right. What you doing? I'm gonna use a Grizzly Wintergreen Pouches can to mix these. All right. It's been a while since I've done Grizzly. The sales cracked, so I mean, I've done like a few, but like it's been like, I don't know. It was last year sometime. But we're gonna mix these up now. I'm gonna tell y'all like how they taste and all that bullshit. So, good clean can for these pouches. Oh, uh, it was pouches. Then there's like basically like a full can of Grizzly. Alright. What happened? Well, I don't know. I've never actually tried this. Like, I mean, I have a Copenhagen Mint and Copenhagen Wintergreen, but that's different than taking two different brands. Like, one that's like $3 and then one that's like, I don't know, a dollar depends on where you're at. All right, we already got the Grizzly in there. So. There ain't much left in this Stoker's Mint tub. I've had it for about three weeks though now. Plus I've had a can of Copenhagen Wintergreen and this can of Grizzly Wintergreen. I feel like the mint's honestly really just going to overpower the Wintergreen. But we'll see. We'll shake it up good and mix it together really good. I might would do like, you know, like mix a bunch of them together, like a bunch of different brands and flavors just to see what it tastes like, but like, I don't know. I can't really get all different flavors of it, but looks like it's mixed pretty good. All right, let's pack it. It looks kind of strange, actually. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but... It looks like it's kind of fine cut, actually, but... It's not. So, I don't know. It's gonna be a fatty. I didn't realize how fat this shit was gonna be, but... But if you ain't got a Dipski and an old Lipski, y'all can pack one with me. This is one funky page. Be honest.
Yeah. I was going to spend all the mud jug, guys, but I don't find it pretty good. So you know what we're going with? Whatever bottle here I am. Mm. Google got this Powerade bottle. It's already got some in it. There's another freaking ad. This is my other favorite song by him. I have three. There's Lay It On Me by Dylan Scott. Making This Boy Go Crazy by Dylan Scott. And Ball Cap by Dylan Scott. Also, like, while I'm letting this soak for a little bit or whatever. He also goes subscribe to one of my buddies, um, Dragon Hunter 24. Wait, shit. What, the, what is his freaking thing again? Dragon Hunter 420. And then y'all can go subscribe to my Instagram, Dip Bros 2044. Not subscribe. Damn. Y'all know what I mean. Freaking uh, follow me. I'll try to follow you back. This really doesn't really have that much of a taste. It really burns your gums, though. It's really weird. I don't know. It's funky. I'm changing this to an upper decker and see if it changes anything. I'm just gonna keep this open because I'm, I usually. I don't usually put in upper deckers. I only done it like once and it looks, it looks goofy. I'm telling y'all. Don't y'all think it's looks dumb? You certainly get black spit this way. And you can taste it quite a bit better. Ooh, it burns. Ah. Oh. I don't know. It tastes weird, but I'm putting it back in the bottom because it's really uncomfortable. Here's a question. Ah, there we go. Is it necessary to create a luxury that's car better. more teched out than Silicon Valley? But, the but yeah, if y'all pack up or duck yours regularly, I'll give y'all some props for that shit. I'm not used to it, so my gum's still burning up there. Did y'all like my full cam video? It's pretty good. If y'all haven't seen it, then go check out the go check it out. It's the video right before this one. And yeah, that's a that's a pretty interesting video there. But yeah, like I don't know much of what to talk about, but... Wait, y'all want to see my hat collection? We'll do that. This is one of the first hats I ever got when I was like 11. And then... Um, I'm going to look for my other hat. My, my second hat that I ever got. I don't really know where it's at, but it's a monster hat. Of course, it's a flat bill. And then, I got this Superman hat. Like my sister bought it for me. Then I got this hat here. It's a rock star hat. It's actually broke. Like the snapback parts broke on it, but 
This was one of my favorite hats, like when I, before it broke. It's a rock star hat. And I have a Vans hat. It's a little squished. I don't really wear it that much anymore. And then I have a fox hat too. Y'all probably seen most of these in like my old videos, but here's my fox hat. Then I have this Chevy hat. I have a really tree hat somewhere. I don't really know where it's at though. My hair looks fucked, I know. But then I got my Batman hat, which is my favorite hat because my girlfriend got it for me. Plus, I like Batman a lot. As far as this soaker's mint and grease the wintergreen, like after it's soaked. You can kind of taste like the mint, but like especially up in the upper decker part, you can taste the wintergreen. And y'all seen me shake it up and everything, so it's not just like a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but like it's about the same amount. I honestly tried to put less of the mint in, but just so it be, like so, just so it wouldn't overpower the wintergreen. But it tastes pretty much the same, really. Like, I don't know. You get the wintergreen burning sensation, but then you get the, um, you get the wintergreen burning sensation, and then you get, like, I don't know, then you get, like, a mint taste, I guess. So, I don't know, like, it's alright, I guess. It's not something I usually do. You know something I haven't done in a long time, y'all? I haven't done Red Seal at all. I haven't done Red Seal since I was about 15. Now I'm 17. So it's been about two years since I've dipped Red Seal. Anything. It's crazy. I used to like Red Seal pretty good. Red Seal Wintergreen was pretty good. This is one of my other favorite songs by Dylan Scott. My phone, like that phone that I was playing on, is about to die. So I don't know how long that'll last, but... Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. Go subscribe to Dragon Hunter 420. He posts some pretty cool gaming videos, and he posts them. Um, go follow him on Twitch. I'm not sure what his Twitch is, but it should be like on his account somewhere or something. I also have a Twitch too. Like if y'all just want to talk to me, my Twitch is Dip Bros 2044. I think so. I'm pretty sure that's it. Or it's Dip Boy, like my YouTube. Also, go um, go follow my Instagram at Dip Bros 2044. I post a bunch of dip memes and some dip pics. You know, everyone likes some dip pics. But anyways, I guess this I guess this is the end of this video. So anyways, Dip Boy out.